You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Under Construction, Part 1. We are all under construction. We're all being built. We are going somewhere. We are changing all the time. There is never such a thing as a static position in our lives. As we are in the physical, so we are in the spiritual. Paul said to the Philippians, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And what we must understand is that the completion is not in our exterior, but our interior. It is that part of us that will live forever, our immortal soul. Otherwise, we would never grow old. And the problems that directly affect us would diminish. The fullness or completion that we're talking about does not rest on your circumstances, but on your calling and what is developing in your spirit, in the depth of your being, which eventually has its outworking in the fruits you display. If the roots are holy, so are the branches, Scripture says. My prayer for you is that you will allow the hand of God to construct, to shape, to direct, to establish and grow your lives. This word building is an architectural term that means to renovate. It implies tearing down what's not working for you and building up what is. A while ago I sprayed some of our lawn with weed killer, the type that kills not the grass but broadleaf weeds. So I carefully sprayed the lawn that surrounded my veggie gardens. Uh, They were in raised boxes with a variety of plants growing in them. Then after that, despite my care, my veggies, many of them, either stopped growing or were greatly affected. Their growth was stunted. I remember some beans came up out of the ground and then they sort of perished. They tried hard, but the poison was too much. Obviously, some invisible airborne droplets I couldn't see them, had got on to the plants. And things that stop our growth are like that. It's like rust insidiously and invisibly working their way into our lives and affecting us in ways that catch us out. That's why we need a saviour. He not only forgives us, but cleanses us and grows us. And so I want to look at those things that actually are like this weed killer, if you like. Those things that prevent us from growing or stunt our growth. I want to identify the inhibitor in our midst. And so we see that everyone needs to grow. And Paul was incredibly descriptive of the difference between our outer world and our inner world, as we said before. He said to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away. Look at that. Yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. So amongst the bad news is good news. Not so good news is that old man wrinkles is coming your way. From about the age of 25 on, certain changes start to kick in to the outer you. Your bones start to lose their calcium and they get brittle. Your skin starts to lose its elasticity and shrivel up. Age spots begin to multiply. You look down at your hands one day and you say, these are my parents' hands on my body. You start losing brain cells at an alarming rate. If you're over 30, you lose about 3 million brain cells a day. Hair will stop growing where you want it to and boldly go to places no hair has gone before. It's not a good sign. Nose hair trimmers for Christmas. 
outwardly we're wasting away, Paul says. You and me, we sweat and strain, bodies aerobic and racked with pain. Lift those weights, run that mile, get a little Botox and a whiter smile. People try skin cream and weight reduction, the South Beach diet and liposuction. But old man wrinkle, he just keeps rolling along. And so in conclusion, the outer you is temporary, but the inner you is eternal. It's your being that will never cease to exist. The real you. It's the process of becoming something. God bless you.